Hey folks, this is Brad with PCMac.com, and today we are checking out the Brave browser. Uh, it's a new browser by the uh, co-founder of Mozilla, uh, who no longer works there and is actually working on uh, this full time. So it's a uh, really is a neat browser. Uh, it is in its beginning stages, but uh, in my opinion, it's really what everybody should be using starting now uh, it's just as fast as Chrome it's just as fast as Firefox uh, really the only downside that I've come across is that uh, it doesn't support extensions yet uh, but the neat thing is how it handles ads uh, basically there's a built-in ad blocker with it uh, and we'll actually go to that uh, what we we'll do is just click on the uh, hamburger menu there and then go down to the bravery option and click on bravery global settings so this will basically show you the uh, unique portion of brave uh, <clears throat> unlike many other browsers brave actually does have ad control uh, by default it blocks ads uh, you can change it to allow ads and tracking but by default it does block ads or you can click on this neat thing called Brave Ads, which basically replaces the ads on websites with ads from its own ad network. But ads, but it doesn't do, but it takes those ads, uh, default ads off of there that are invasive and get in your way. So such as pop-ups and just ads that take up a large chunk of the screen. Clicking on Show Brave Ads actually takes those away, away, and replaces it with. Uh, ads from Brave's own ad network uh, and those ads are uh, placed strategically so they're not getting in the way of the user friendliness of the website like the default ones were uh, another thing it does is uh, you have cookie control um, most browsers do offer this but uh, it's more uh, in your face and lets you uh, control those things. Another neat thing is it has HTTPS everywhere. Uh, many websites don't have that security, but uh, Brave forces it so that your communication with the website is encrypted. Uh, it also has this neat thing called block phishing slash malware, which is basically uh, so there are ads out there that will actually try and install malware on your computer, and this will stop it from happening. <coughs> um. And then obviously you have block scripts, and then you have uh, fingerprinting protection. Another neat thing is it has uh, Brave Payments. Uh, so it's basically, uh, basically what's happening here is that when Brave uh, blocks those ads by default, they really don't want to hurt these site owners. Uh, their intention really is to create a, uh, a more user-friendly experience for people browsing the web. Uh, so basically, Brave Payments is a way to allow you to reward your favorite websites with a uh, monetary donation. Uh, so just reading it here, uh, basically Brave Payments allows publishers to stay in business even though you may have blocked their advertisements with Brave. All of this works while keeping your browsing history private and your funds are transferred to the site owner through an anonymous ledger system which makes it impossible for you ever to be identified based on the sites you visit and support. Uh, Brave Payments is currently in beta and they just roll it out so it is still in its infancy but that will obviously get better over time. And that's really all there is unique about the Brave browser. Uh, everything else is still uh, in beta and they are adding new features. Uh, it does have a fairly clean user interface uh, you basically just have this URL tab up there. And yeah, that's all there is to it. Uh, we are looking forward to future updates as uh, I personally think it's so far a lot better than Firefox and Chrome. Uh, and they do offer versions for Windows, Linux, Android, and iOS. But yeah, that's all there is to it. For a more detailed article, you can head to PCMac.com or click on the link description. And as always, be sure to check out our YouTube channel. Once again, once again I've been BrathPeaceMac.com, and until next time.